Interval notation is just another way to express the solution of an inequality. Instead of drawing a graph, the solution will be expressed in parentheses or bracket form, such as this, parentheses a comma b, or brackets a comma b, or even a mixture where perhaps you have parentheses on the front and brackets on the back, or vice versa. To graph this inequality, this x is located between 2 and 5, so we put 2 and 5 on the number line. We're going to shade between 2 and 5 with a curved parenthesis because it's just plain old less. It is not less than or equal to. So our graph looks like this. This leads directly to the interval notation. Because the graph has parentheses on it, I'm going to use parentheses in my interval notation. My first number, or my leftmost number, is 2. My rightmost number is 5. That indicates that my interval notation is from 2 to 5. The curve parenthesis there means 2 itself is not part of the solution set, but every number between 2 and 5 is, with 5 itself not being part of the solution set. A minor difference over here is the fact that this is less than or equal to. So when we graph this, we'll use a square bracket. We will still shade between those two numbers. And now to do the interval notation, because on my number line I have square brackets, my interval notation will have square brackets. The first number, which is the leftmost number, is negative 1, and it goes out to 3. That indicates that your solution set is any number between negative 1, inclusive, all the way up to 3, inclusive. Not every interval notation has a number in both those positions. If you're just graphing x greater than 4, then you know 4, you know because it's just greater than, it is going to be a parenthesis. It is facing to the right because you are shading to the right. Now, when you do your interval, take a look at the parenthesis there. It is facing this way. Because of that position, that says it's got to be the front part of my interval notation. Of course, it has to be the front part of your interval notation because the graph begins at 4 and goes out to the right. When it moves out to the right, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually, infinity. Infinity is not an actual point, and that's why it gets a curved parenthesis there. This interval notation says that your solution begins at 4, not including 4, but greater than 4, going all the way out to infinity. Greater than or equal to 2, we'll have a square bracket, and we're going to face to the right, shade to the right, it is a square bracket on my number line, therefore it is a square bracket to begin my interval. And that interval just continues bigger and bigger and bigger until we get out here to infinity, getting a curve. The inequality that sometimes is hard to write in interval notation is less than. But if you keep in mind the way things face, you might be able to keep it straight. x less than 5 is going to be shaded out to the left. It has a curved parenthesis facing to the left. Now, in your interval notation, that's the way that's got to look. That curve is facing to the left, which means it's the back end of my interval notation. If it's the back end, that means 5 is my rightmost number. I need to find a leftmost number. These numbers are getting smaller and smaller and smaller, going down into the negative region, and eventually I'm going to be at negative infinity, getting a curve. If you're graphing less than, your first number in the interval has to be negative infinity. If you're graphing less than, the first number in your inequality is going to be negative infinity. Same thing over here, negative 1. Because it is less than or equal to, we will do a square bracket shading to the left. Square bracket looks like this at negative 1, which makes it the back end of the interval. It's the back end of the interval because negative 1 is the rightmost number in my solution. Since it's less than, it's going left, 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 eventually negative infinity with a curve. A common mistake on these intervals is to try to make an interval something like this, 4 comma negative infinity. There is no way this is possible. You cannot have a positive number to the left of a negative number. That's just not possible. So don't make that mistake. Keep in mind 
less than will have negative infinity to lead the interval.